Welcome back aboard EV Nautilus, everyone. My name is Madison Dapsevich. I'm a communications lead here aboard NA-176 Deep Sea Habitats of the Cook Islands, a place and a part of the world that is absolutely incredible. Oftentimes, these areas can go well beyond the 4,000 meter capacity of ROV Hercules, but don't worry, we have a friend to help us with that. Meet little Hercules. Now some of you might be familiar with Little Hercules, especially those of you who have been with us for many, many years. But for those who aren't, Little Hercules is, as it sounds like, a miniature version of ROV Hercules. It's specially designed and it's super cute size is meant to go down to a depth of 6,000 meters. That helps us to explore never before seen parts of the seafloor. Little Hercules was originally built in 2000 and since then has undergone extensive renovations to meet that 6,000 meter depth capacity. We are so excited to get it back in the water. Uh, we can take you on a little tour of Little Hercules to give you, uh, point out some of the sensors and some of the things that allows this vehicle to, to run subsea. So on board at the front of the vehicle, obviously we have the main HD camera. We have a secondary tooling camera that looks down at the front of the vehicle and also keeps an eye on some of the uh, gauges and things that we use to, to keep an eye on the health of the vehicle. We run a sonar up forward, so that's a sector scanning sonar to look for obstacles or look for features that we want to go look at. The lighting obviously is a pretty big spread of lighting that was put on just for the MXD camera for this mission. Uh, we have an altimeter here up front, so this allows us to see how high off the seafloor the vehicle is uh, when we're flying above the seafloor. Uh, we have a CTD, which is a typical science center for conductivity, temperature, and depth. Up forward here, these are called compensators. So these are oil-filled systems that help to keep some of the electronics safe and we can keep an eye on their status. So we've added these to the, to the vehicle recently. Uh, these are the, one of the thrusters. There's four thrusters, two horizontals and two verticals. The verticals are kind of tucked up under the foam block, but the verticals are angled in a way that allow the vehicle to go up and down vertically in the water column but also laterally, uh, we can use those same thrusters to go in a lateral motion. And these vehicles in the horizontal position allow the vehicle to go forward and also turn. Uh, back of the vehicle, this is the main electronics bottle. So this is kind of like the brains of the vehicle that are all the electronics are housed inside this, this can. Some lighting and another aft cam is here to keep, keep track of the tether. Basically on this side, we just have the junction box. So this, this junction box is an oil filled box, which connects all of the connections into the electronics bottle we showed you earlier. So this allows us access to the electronics and, and the systems uh, in this box, which is easy to get into without actually having to open this housing, which we want to try and keep sealed up as, as much as possible. Thank you everyone for joining us and taking a deep dive into the differences between Little Hercules and regular Hercules. Although it might be small, Little Hercules certainly packs a punch when it comes to deep sea exploration and NA-176 proves that. Make sure to tune into our YouTube channel and throughout the rest of our expedition, hop on to nautiluslive.org to see our live streams 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thanks so much. See you next time.